We're here in Ivano Francisk, Ukraine. It's October 2023. And the war in the eastern Ukraine is still raging. We're not there, but we see the effects of that war here in this regional hospital. Our team of 15, six surgeons and seven nurses, our medical videographer, photographer, we're here to treat Ukrainian soldiers who've been severely injured. As soon as we cross the border and they see the Ukraine side, we know that we're in a country that's at war. The injuries that we see in war trauma really are devastating, much more so than the usual types of facial trauma we might see in North America. And oftentimes, unfortunately, what we have to do is reconstruct the eye socket but they've lost their eyeball, they're blind. And in many cases that we've seen this week, blind in both eyes, so that at least they'll be able to fit with a prosthesis and have a more normal looking appearance. All of the soldiers we see are special, but I guess some are even more special than others. There's one young man here by the name of Andre, who was severely injured. He's lost the use of both forearms through amputations. So he has no hands or lower arm on one side. He's blind in both eyes and has severe uh, facial injuries. My left part of uh, lips, uh, the higher one, mm -hmm. it was not closing at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I, for example, brush in my teeth, the water just get out of my mouth. He's married and has a delightful wife and when we talked about his operation and said, how was he going to feel before his operation? He said, well, I think I will sing. Actually, my, my voice is restored uh, pretty well. And I can sing now, pretty good. Uh, so this is the first time that I've ever seen these kinds of war injuries. So these are just incredibly complicated, um, very difficult, challenging, challenging cases. and. Seeing these injuries um, in these poor young guys, as a mother, myself, I just, that is somebody's son, somebody's husband, somebody's brother. It's just so deeply, deeply sad that this is happening in this country and that it's undeserved. We have had so many impressive and emotive stories from the soldiers that we've seen this week. Every one of them has a story to tell, one that is compelling. Many of our patients extend gratitude. They want to shake our hands. They want to have our photographs taken with them. До це був такий, якби, ну, я думаю, що їй приємно вже було отримати цей знак. А це та бригада, в якій я ну, про служу, і служив і служу. І бригада вона дуже на, як можна сказати, дуже хвально воює, скажімо так. We have like so many complicated cases and for us it's complicated also for our colleagues it's also uh, so complicated so we are waiting for you, for your help, for our friends from Face the Future. First of all we are helping our patients, our soldiers. Uh, secondly it's that we can study something new from our colleagues from Canada and USA. Today we have uh, two cases of uh, facial nerve reanimation. 
and um, the colleague from Kiev and another uh, city um, mentioned that uh, we uh, don't have um, that kind of uh, specialist in Ukraine who can um, do this operation. Which it was the first in Ukraine, in, but in this hospital is also the first. It's very difficult, it's very unusual. We have uh, so, so many patients with this trauma and it will, will be very useful for us because now we, we know how, how we can help this young man and woman. We are really very thankful. I, I should say for, for us it's, it's uh, extremely important because it's just a revolution in our surgery by, uh, because the doors became open. It's really important when you're bringing that breadth of surgical training here and teaching these surgeons this whole new world essentially. You don't just abandon them. You have to keep coming back and solidifying that and being available to them if, if there is a complication from one of these surgeries that they never do so that they can manage it. We can go a time and time again, and treat soldiers a dozen, two dozen, three dozen at a time. Um, but uh, what we're really aiming to do is to equip the local Ukrainian surgeons to be able to, to use the techniques that we have pass them on to them so that they can use these same sort of techniques on their own country. У нас багато таких пацієнтів. Їм не завершена ще ця війна. І це важко, але ми розуміємо, що вони будуть. І це є шанс для людини жити, продовжувати жити, жити впевнено в собі, впевнено в майбутньому. І це дуже добре. Це Ми бачимо очі наших щасливих пацієнтів після таких місій, і ми розуміємо, що треба ще і ще. That, like me as a doctor, I see that as a result of this work, it's like damaged faces, it's like breaking lives. They're so grateful for the support. They're so grateful that the world recognizes what's happening here and that people like us are here to help them. I see trees are green and red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies are blue and clouds are white the bright blessed day the dark sacred night and I think to myself what a wonderful world